Hi everyone and welcome to my channel Moxie DIY in Java. I'm Michelle. Today's video is going to be five fall tear tray items all under five dollars each. So grab your cup of coffee or your favorite beverage and join me. Okay, to start this DIY, we're going to give these plates a good cleaning. I'm just using good old glass cleaner, and we're gonna use the two large circular decals. And it is as easy as that, just apply them, and then I'm going to go over them with some dishwasher safe Mod Podge. And the reason I'm using the dishwasher safe is because I figured being in the kitchen, these may get a little grubby, so at least this way I can wash them. And of course, Mod Podge is by the company Plaid and I am a Plaid ambassador so I am really happy to use any of those products because quite frankly they are all really good quality products. This video is part of the five under five dollar DIY challenge playlist and we are being hosted by Missy from the Crafty Cove DIY and Emily from Farm Charm Chic and our guest host this month is Brenda from Rustic and Lace DIY. All of these ladies are really talented DIYers so definitely go check out their channels. I will have them listed in the description box and also check out everyone on the playlist because you are sure to find some great inspiration. This shadow box was from the Dollar Tree and was originally a bank style and I covered it with a popsicle stick cup to size and I also painted it to look similar to the rest of the paint on the box. So now we're revisiting these window clings and we're going to use the pumpkin spice everything nice decal and I'm just using some glue stick to get it onto this cardstock, which I will then trim around the decal. This is one of the foil backsplash stickers that the Dollar Tree has in the kitchen section. This particular one is a subway tile look, and I figured that this would look nice as a my backdrop. This particular shadow box has screws holding the hanging element and the anchor in place on the back and I'm just cutting around those so it's not popping the backdrop up. These mini pumpkins are from the Dollar Tree and you're just going to see me fiddling with placement and everything else with this. All the paint I'll be using for this is by Folk Art or Apple Barrel, which are part of the parent company Plaid. And the colors are Vivid Orange, Bright Green, Flag Red, I can't remember what the yellow is, and then also Waverly's Antiquing Wax, which is also by the company Plaid. 
So I'm just going to paint both the pumpkin and the apple in the colors that I think look best. Here I'm using the Waverly Antiquing Wax to create the ribs of the pumpkin and I will use a little bit of the yellow color to add some highlights in just a little bit. This is just some twine that came with the ornaments that I decided to make into bows for each of them. And you may notice that there's a little cat that's been painted also, and that's for a future DIY, so be sure to subscribe and check back later for that video. So all I'm doing is covering up the pumpkin cutout of this sign with my painted pumpkin, and then I do end up attaching the apple but I take it off later because the pumpkin latte recipe was a little longer than the amount of space that I gave for it so it ends up working out just fine and the apple popped off really easily so it did not cause any damage. Now I have a confession, I had the greatest of aspirations of doing this entire sign with vinyl and I will be honest I hate weeding, it's not my favorite. So I flexed and I ended up making these printouts, which I will have in the description box if you would like to use them as well. For the gingham background, I just looked for the, the specific color um, on my search engine. And I am making these into stickers with my Xyron machine. And it's really cool. Uh, it does a really good job of putting adhesive on the back and it makes it into a true sticker. It's really cool. So this gingham was just a little too wide, so I'm gonna add some glue stick to the edge that the machine couldn't get. I had my first apple chider last year. Comment below if you've had it before. And I fell in love. I love apple cider as it is, but when you added all of the spices and everything from chai, it just makes it that much better. So if you haven't tried it, definitely give it a try. Like I said, I'm gonna have both of these recipes in the description box so that way you can make it at home. Now these are just the little brads that you can put through papers. You can find them in an office supply store. I'm just cutting off the little tags and I'm pressing down the, the parts where I cut so that way it's not sharp. And then here I'm just figuring out where exactly I want them.
All this talk of pumpkin lattes and chiders has made me thirsty for my own coffee. Today I'm having the Tully's Hawaiian Blend and I will be using good old pumpkin spice for my creamer as well as half and half. If you would ever like to help support my channel, you can always buy me a coffee. All of the information is in my About tab or in my description box. Once again, using Plaid's Mod Podge to attach these gingham printouts that again I found from the internet and I am attaching it to the back of one of those decor pieces that you can find in the tween area of Dollar Tree and I just removed the front graphic. I'm on other social media outlets as well, and I would love it if you would come by and say hey. This is some scrap paper that I had on hand and I realized that I could just press on this other small pumpkin and get the shape and size that I wanted for this other pumpkin. And once again, I'm going to use the same colors to create the pumpkin color.
This is some of the patterned uh, burlap ribbon from Dollar Tree. I'm going to add them to the middle of these pre-existing bows just to tie in the new bow that I will be making here in just a minute. And I will use some of the excess of the pre-existing bows to create the center of the bow I will make. I hope that makes sense. If not, it'll be clear in just a second. I fell in love with these decals when I saw them. There's just some really great quotes in there. So we're going to use some Mod Podge to attach them to cardstock, and then we will put them inside these little houses that you can find at the Dollar Tree. Once again, we're using these gingham printouts. Now, I have had these houses for a while and I like interchanging the backdrops. So I made templates for the insides of these houses. Comment below if you would like for me to make these available to you. It took me a long time to get the measurements just right because these are, are not exact in their measurements. So if you would like for me to make these available to you, comment below and let me know and I will definitely do that. And here's the final look. This tiered tray is actually sitting on our dining room table. And if you're interested in these gnomes, they are in a previous video. I will link it in the iCards above.
I hope you have enjoyed spending this time with me as much as I have enjoyed spending it with you, and until I see you in the next video, take care.